Right now, the clock is ticking for Congress. Lawmakers have eight hours to pass a spending bill to avoid a partial shutdown of the government, and it will have to include funding for President Trump's border wall with Mexico. Otherwise, he says he won't sign it. So if there is a partial government shutdown, what impacts will be felt here in Central Florida? New 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us live from a post office in Orlando. And Mike, the mail will still be delivered just days before Christmas. Julie, yes, it will. The U.S. Postal Service here is fully funded, so there should be no impacts here. Your packages and cards will get to where they're going. As for other government agencies that could be impacted by the government shutdown, even some of those could still remain in operation if they provide, quote, essential services. As holiday travelers begin flocking to Orlando International Airport, the government agencies that protect passengers and keep the planes flying could see their funding run out at midnight. However, it's unlikely those travelers will notice much difference. If there is a partial government shutdown, TSA screeners will be required to work, even though they may not get paid right away. Same with FAA employees stationed in air traffic control towers. But travelers who need to obtain new passports may be out of luck if government offices are closed. The visitor center at Kennedy Space Center will remain open no matter what happens since it's run by a private contractor. In the past, the attraction's popular bus tours of the launch complex have been closed during government shutdowns, but so far that's not expected to happen. The nearby Canaveral National Seashore, along with other National Park Service locations, have also been closed during prior shutdowns. However, if that happens this time, the agency is vowing to keep as many locations open as possible. While Social Security checks should still be sent out, a shutdown could prevent new applications from being processed. And anyone buying or selling a home might experience a delay until funding is restored to agencies like the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Of course, the biggest impact of a possible government shutdown would be those workers themselves. Uh, by one estimate, uh, about 300,000 federal employees could be furloughed if the government shuts down tonight, and another 400,000 or so will be forced to work without pay, at least until that funding is restored. Julie? Mike, thank you. Mike DeForest reporting live.